Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Harvest Moon. Another day. Dog in the park. Dog in the park. What do the birds signify? The birds signify that it is not raining. That's it? I think so, that it's a clear day. And that it's... Well, obviously it's not raining. Summer? Is it summer? It is summer. We are in summer? What day of summer? I don't know. We have more important shit to do. We're just winging it, huh? I, I'm down. And then it's like just wing, 17th and then day just wing of summer farmer. or something like that. 17th? Okay, so we've got a few more harvests in us. I think. We should. I need Hopefully. To also, check your grass. Do we need grass? Yeah. We oh, was today the day that we had to check the grass? Yeah. It was I'm good that you sold the, the tomatoes, though. Here, I'm gonna do... Yeah, because you want to see if you have to buy it. So yeah. you can go just just slash one and check. Yep. And then go talk to uh, to Alan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god, is that dark that's, stuff that's, that's, ready? That's good. Oh, whoops. That's is good. it ready? Is it ready? That's is it ready? Good. Yeah. Okay. Just don't know. Forget about it right now. Forget about it right now. You go talk I need, to. I need enough for my chickens. No, I know, but you can slash it up when you get back and I then guess, feed and them feed when them. you get oh, back. I, yeah. I remember last time I forgot about that. Uh, well, I will remind you, hopefully. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> red, red means shipping. Brown means food. Brown Come means... On. Brown means no. Damn it, two. <laughs> three, Do you want to sell a chicken? One, two, three. If you want to sell a chicken, you just put five. Fuck. Oh yeah, incubate. Yep. Sell two, sell burr, two burr, eggs. Burr, 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 Take burr, one to your lady love. Burr, 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 your uh, your prospective mate. If I may. Watch the farmer in his natural habitat. The prospective mate, yeah. Approaching his prospective eggs. mate with an egg. Yeah. He throws one at her. <coughs> she accepts it gladly. She, she, <laughs> you look fine today, she, she says. No, she dodges. Egg smashes on the floor. <laughs> Thwarted again. Yeah. No hearts were had today. Thank you. Now I can bake a cake with it. Dude, that's so funny. Oh, you gotta talk to the dude in that in that place. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna buy something? Oh, I know I'm gonna see. Are you see gonna check I'm your at. hearts? Yeah. Heart check? Uh, were we at eight last time? I think so. I think eight. Let's see. What Let's are you see. feeling? What Let's are you see. feeling? I don't know. What are you doing? Eight still. Eight still. That's all right. No, fall, false alarm. Everyone. It's a good number. False alarm. It's a good number. Go back to your uh, harvest moon. When's the twenty uh, seventh of summer? Oh shit, shit, dude! Shit! That's that's late. Yeah. Almost 9,000. Have you gotten the big house yet? Nope. Because you need 10 grand. Well, you sold some eggs. I need to sell a chicken, You need 10 too. grand. Oh, sell a chicken. You'll have plenty. And then on your way back, talk to the dude about upgrading your house. What do you think? I don't think I have enough wood. Or do you want to buy... Oh, you don't have enough wood? Well, then no. take tonight to make to get wood. <laughs> we will get wood tonight. That's for sure. That's the plan. This is called getting wood. Getting wood. That's this. Didn't I use that in a title? I can't use that in a title. Know. Why not? We get flagged. What? No. Getting wood. This is America. This is America. How many pieces do I have? Uh, check it. Two hundred fifty-six. What do you need? Five hundred? I think so. Okay. Well, shit. Grab your axe. Well, hold on. I gotta feed my shit. Well, you can do that later. You can do that whenever I can, you want. I can cut wood whenever, too. Alright, that's true. I'm gonna talk to my cow. Brush her ever so gently. Kylo. Yeah. There you go, got the happy eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Got the happy eyes. Yeah, you're happy, ain't you? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what a happy cow. Dude, it what is a... What a happy uh, cow you are. It is kind of a somber day today. It's a somber day it's a, for... It's, a, it's, it's a, somber a somber week. week. Yeah, it's 2016 shaping up to be a heck of a... a heck of a, of a year yeah, so far. I was, uh, unfortunately, uh, my rock and roll idol, David Bowie, passed away earlier this week. And then uh, Alan Dude, Rickman... one of my fucking idols. Yeah. Alan Rickman passed away this morning. 
Both 69, both to cancer, strangely enough. Yeah, dude. The, uh, it's a horrible thing. Yeah, the, uh, but it's nice that they're remembered fondly. Yeah. It's nice that, that people... Oh, fuck, the pay. chicken. The goddamn chicken. That's okay, you can do it after after this. We already found that out. Just just drop the chicken off whenever you want. That dude's up late. That dude does not well, have... Well, no, I don't think it was that. I think it was it was still before, like, night time. That we did Well, here's, an, here's another test. Yeah. Well, it's the music yeah. hasn't stopped yet. It's once the music stops. Nice, good call. Oh, you just got it. Sell it. I'll take it with me. Okay, All so right. now you can finish. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the cut grass, your grass, water, water your plants. crops, and then go chop chop your hearts your mm -hmm. heart out. Oh shit! Chop to your heart's content. Yeah, with all them power bears. Yeah, David Bowie really had an impact on me. Yeah, he was like the the guy that he was like my musical kind of icon in yeah. a lot of ways. He was an icon for me, and at first it was like just Ziggy Stardust. I thought that was all that I ever needed out of David Bowie, but when I was a kid, like, it started off with, like, Labyrinth, and also him doing songs yeah, that I didn't even know that he did, fuck you know? dude, Labyrinth. Yeah. Oh, I so feel like good. that's actually, like, I don't know, for me it's, like, the least of all of his... Yeah, but it was like my childhood introduction to David Bowie yeah. in that in that way, yeah, in that totally performance is, yeah. element, you know, because I had heard the music, but seeing him perform and stuff like that was my first experience with that. So it was one of those things. So where, well, yeah, it's not as I mean, it's definitely not like one of his like greatest accomplishments. I mean, it is like but he was a very amazing. good actor. He was he was amazing in it. Yeah, the, uh, but he's done some other his, more amazing things. Yeah, I think the diversity of his portfolio is really what's amazing. <laughs> and he kind of like, especially when he was Ziggy Stardust, and he was this flamboyant uh, kind of homosexual or homo superior kind of alien from Mars. This character that he did, mm -hmm. uh, it was illegal to be gay in Britain too. Like, there's a whole yeah. bunch of different things that went on with that, and so, sort of how he paved the way in a lot of ways with that. Um, the And just being strange, it's like, it's it's amazing to me to think about how easy it is to be strange and to have it be okay nowadays. Yeah. When, actually, you know, in a lot of ways, it still probably isn't in certain places. I think that we're kind of lucky to be in a place where it is. Yeah. Okay well, I think strange. the places where it isn't are also shrinking. Yeah. Um, and and just be a weirdo who wants to do art and then just be happy with art that you're doing. And you enjoy know. it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And just kind of... Uh, it, it's interesting because he took music and he made... Because he said that he originally wanted to write musicals. And that's what his music was going to be for. And that's why he actually... He had terrible stage fright. And so he created the character of Ziggy Stardust. So that he could be a character on stage and have it be a little easier to do. Yeah. And so he wrote music for this character. And that's how basically it came about. That's so um, And then he... As soon as he was done with that, he did the... Uh, Ziggy Stardust with Aladdin saying he still had it and Diamond Dogs kind of. But then he went to the Thin White Duke and then he did another character. And then he did another character after that. And then finally in the 80s, he kind of like embraced being David Bowie. David Bowie. Or actually during Low and that kind of stuff when he did the Berlin albums. Once he stopped doing a lot of drugs. But then he went back to Halloween Jack, so he did characters. It's interesting. I think I if know. you if you hop in and out really quick, that's what gives you more energy. The like uh, adds adds every time you jump in. Yeah, I I just feel like there's a I don't know. He's he's such a creative genius and there's many different facets and many people different love Pretty him good. for his different facets, you know. Yeah. I think that's with the uh, Dude, I love watching him as an actor. Yeah. I love watching him in uh, in The Prestige. Yeah, he was Tesla. I didn't I didn't recognize him my first view of that <laughs> film. Not at all. I like knew David Bowie was in the movie. I watched the movie. I just didn't really think about it, yeah. you know? And then the credits rolled and I was like, "Wasn't David Bowie in this movie?" And then it was like, "What? He's Tesla." That's cool. It was badass. I was too busy thinking about the plot and yeah. what was going on. That's a good movie for you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Fine. Dude, he's great. And I love Labyrinth. Yeah. I love Labyrinth. Dance, magic, dance! The, uh, his last album was really fucking cool, too. It's yeah. very strange. I don't... I don't like all of this... I don't think all of the songs are as poign poignant as, uh, some of the other ones. I think that the, the what... The, the songs that shine on that album really fucking shine. And the other ones are, like, these are solid David Bowie songs, but... There are... It's only, like... It's only a handful of tracks. Like, it's only, I think, like, seven or eight tracks. Yeah. But four of them are, like, just gold. They're so good. And they're so, like... And when you put it in the context of how he recorded them, uh, it's like, wow, this is very emotional. It's like a send-off, kind of, that he was... It seems like. Yeah. Although I did read an article saying that he was... Even just before his death, he was trying to do a follow-up to that album. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he was thinking about recording a follow-up or writing demos for it. But, yeah, it's a tragedy for... Yeah. For well, I'm our sure, world. I'm sure ideas, ideas keep coming to you, even when you try to, <laughs> to not do Well, that yeah, anymore. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, yeah. only David Bowie could turn, like, an 18-month uh, battle with terminal cancer into an art project. Yeah. You know? Like, that's, like... That says everything that you can about Dude, he him. did so many varied things, like you were talking about his different portfolio. Did you happen to see that interview about the uh, video game music he designed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, like, I don't remember what the what the game was called, um, but he designed the music for it. And just talking about it, he was like, they, they didn't tell us what they wanted because they didn't want to give us any limitations. <laughs> and so, like, he put everything into that, that piece, as he yeah. would... A studio album. Yeah. You know, like, as he would any of his projects, he put everything into it and, like, and, like, did the best he could. And they were, and they also were like, do you want to be a character? And he was like, hell yeah. So they, like, made him a, a character and he got a couple of lengthy monologues out of it. Yeah, that's cool. But, yeah, it's interesting. I'll put, I'll put a link to that video in the description in case anybody wants to, uh, watch it. Because I, I, I was fascinated by it. It was really cool. I didn't even know that he had done music for video games before that. So. I don't. I don't think that he really had, had he? No, I mean, I didn't know that oh, he had done before that before that I interview. found that interview. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a really in interesting interview with him talking about uh, investing in the internet in 2002. Yeah. And kind of just the resources with that, and how he kind of he kind of has this foresight to what the internet has the possibility of becoming before it actually really takes off yeah. in that. It's um, fucking crazy. Yeah, he's very. That's the genius. Thinking. That's the genius that not a lot of people either get to see or don't even remember. Yeah, you know, it's they remember kind of... this. They remember songs, of course, and they remember his movies, and they remember the times they get to see him and stuff. Yeah, I, even with his music, it's like everyone probably has an era of David Bowie that they identify with. Yeah, um, more so than others. But my favorite song is "Space Oddity." Yeah. That's my absolute favorite David Bowie song. Yeah. I just love it. From the first time I fucking heard it, I was like, this song is the coolest. It's the coolest song I've ever heard. My favorite song fluctuates with whatever era I'm into at the time. Yeah. Lately, it's been golden years, like I said, on the, uh, the show not too long ago. Yeah. Um, the Station to Station Bowie is excellent. The, uh... But you know, I've his new stuff. I've been really listening to a lot ever since his album came out, and then subsequently his death, yeah. and it's really cool. It feels like his album uh, that came out two years ago um, was just kind of like a warm up. Oh yeah. To this like strange new direction that he was going, he was like, "Okay, I put out a David Bowie record that people like that could be like commercially liked, you know?" Yeah. Um, and then like, let's get weird with it. Like yeah. with this next one that's kind of what it felt like he was doing and he recorded it in three days oh wow yeah right after a chemo session and apparently he didn't like he had lost all of his hair and stuff too and so when he was singing like he was it was all just emotional wow yeah you can it comes through too I thought uh with uh listening to the you just need to do it like six times I think listening to the album it was um it sounded like he aged, but it was totally, like, not in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. Like a maturity. Yeah, or like just, a, like, kind of, like, this, this realizing, like, like, 
I feel like a lot of older artists when they do that correctly, like Johnny Cash, like yeah, when Johnny Cash did that session where he did the Nine Inch Nails cover, it's like there's this almost like understanding of mortality and finality that totally resonates yeah. through humanity. You know, it's like man, this guy is a- approaching this and he's not afraid of it, or at least he's he has this deep contemplation about it that's very interesting and very. Um, Relatable, yeah, you know, but it's this realization, well, and also people love David Bowie, yeah. <laughs> so like that's a huge boon. That's a huge thing in his to his advantage. It's when uh, talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's it like instantly makes it relatable almost because you're like, oh wow, David Bowie goes through that. Yeah, you know? and I mean, yeah, it's yeah, it's he's an interesting cat. Alan Rickman, though, that just happened. Yeah. I haven't processed that. That's nuts. Yeah, that is crazy. Hans, the, um, Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber. Uh, Hans Gruber. The Snape. And Snape. Yeah. Severus Snape. Uh, he love actually. And his nice high-necked jacket. Uh, oh, uh, Galaxy Quest. Oh, yeah, he's so good in Galaxy Quest. He's really good in Galaxy And Hitchhiker's Quest. Guide. Yep. Just his voice, but yep. he does an amazing job as uh, Marvin. Yeah, he's, uh, he's quite the actor. I... I it's one of those things where I didn't even know what was happening, you know? Yeah. Didn't even know. Another thing with David Bowie, didn't even know that he was sick. I didn't know Kept either. It very yeah. Private. Yeah. The, uh... It's so interesting. I mean, good. I mean, it's good. It's good that they got to, to have that privacy. Well, I... While they went through that, you know? Yeah. It's, uh... It's just, it's, it's sudden, but it's like, oh, goodness. Well, at least, like, they seemed to know it was coming, and they could prepare for it, mm-hmm. so... Yeah. So, I mean, that's all you can really ask for. I'm going to see how much wood I have. Yeah, dude. And then, uh... Yeah. Probably. Dude, Dogma? Yeah, Dogma. Oh, yeah, I totally he's forgot so that, good about in that Dogma. Movie. What are we at? Oh, dude, you got it. Go go back okay. and go back and we'll finish it tonight. And then we'll head to bed and that'll be the, uh... I got to Do we have to feed anybody else? The chickens or anything? Oh, you should double or, check and make yeah, sure and the, all of your Did I water? Are... I think I watered. I believe you did water. Let's just make sure. I'm going to try and keep a rough count. You get six per thing, I think, which is awkward. <laughs> so you're like 460, so you need 40. And if you get six per thing, you need like Eight. seven. Eight. Eight. Eight times. No, yeah, seven. You're right, 42. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So that's Planet Earth oh shit, you gotta go to the hot tub is what you gotta and go. And there's nothing I can do. Yeah, I feel like I've been listening a lot to uh, uh, Bowie that I don't normally listen to, so yeah, I've been listening a lot to like Let's Dance. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Which is uh, that's a, oh god, I love that. The uh, I, love it. I have been listening a lot specifically to the tracks Modern Love I don't know uh, Let's Dance for me uh, if you would ask me five years ago I would have been like I don't really like it at all I like maybe two songs off of it mm-hmm. and I think it's probably still relatively the same with that how I feel um, just because it's like I don't know there's I like certain tracks off of it definitely like Modern Love is great it, yeah. I think that the the version of like Cat People I like the opening riff, but I think that the other version of that song, like the single version he released, was better. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's interesting when when artists release different versions of the same yeah. song, because then you have to like choose in a way, you know, not really. Well, but. yeah, I mean, it's it's also like you could just have an appreciation for it, and I yeah. do. I have an appreciation for it. I was listening to, Let's but there's Dance gonna be one you here. prefer in most cases. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, holy fuck, that's. Like, it's just different enough that you're like, oh, that's amazing that I like both of them equally. Yeah, one version, like, one thing exactly like that is the song Wave Mutilation by the Pixies. They have uh, their normal version of it that's yeah. pretty fast, and then they do a UK surf version that's really slow. Oh, yeah, like, that kind of stuff is yeah. cool, because then it's like they're covering their own song. Kind of, and yeah. And the cover can be, like, just as cool. It, and it has, it has... But when they change, like, a riff or two, or it's, like, the radio version... It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. I like Let's Dance. Uh, Let's Dance, obviously, was a huge success for him. It's his, yeah. like, biggest album that he ever had. Um, but, I don't know, like... 
I, I lost count. I think if you just finish up chopping these uh, down here, you can probably head home. That's probably more than enough. My favorite album probably is Hunky Dory, though. Because that has, like, Changes, Life on Mars, uh, Andy Warhol, uh, Queen Bitch. It has a lot of his really good songs. And it's during the Ziggy Stardust era. Yeah, that got watered. That's right? watered, yeah. Check your wood really quick. <laughs> Check my wood. Check my wood. Yeah. 514. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're good. All right. Um, check, your cat, check, your, check your animals. And then... Check your feed. Your and food. And we'll call it a night. And then we will call it a night. Yeah, I gotta make sure that Kylo... I believe... I, believe. I did Kylo. I, believe I know for sure I did Kylo. Kylo. Okay, cool. Everything's all. And then good. the chickens. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I did I'm pretty the sure you did too. the chickens, but we've there. We've had moments in the past. Yeah. We do tend to wander when yeah. we talk. That's true. The uh, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, Send our thoughts to Alan Rickman and David Bowie's families. Absolutely. Uh, we, will, we will miss both of them very much. And thank you guys for watching, and tune in next time for hopefully we get our, our new house. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's do it. Hopefully this wasn't too much of a downer. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it was good. It's nice. Yeah. I, I, I mean... Yeah, I don't think it's a downer. Well, I mean, and even if it is, I'm picking up my dog and putting down my dog. <laughs> <laughs>